What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. Now for this video, we're going to be jumping into Hellions issue number 14. And if you haven't been keeping up with this line, go ahead and check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything going on in this line. And so this issue is going to be a lot of fun. Because previously, Sinister had sent out a clone of himself. He sent this clone along with his unsuspecting Hellions. He sent them on a secret mission to Ameth. It was all in an attempt to try to stop the Ten of Swords event from happening. To stop the tournament from going on. The only issue with all of this is the clone version of Sinister had been captured, and half the team had been killed by Tarn the Uncaring. But not before the clone Sinister was able to achieve his goal and send Psylocke and the survivors back to Otherworld with samples of the Iraqi genes. But upon arriving on Krakoa, the real Sinister ambushed the rest of the Hellions and killed them leaving him the only person that remembers the mission. But now we're seeing the return of the clone Sinister. Not only that, but the Locust Vial are here with him. And with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into this issue, we are picking up at Bar Sinister. And right now, the Locust Vial, they are standing off with the Hellions. Now, for those that aren't aware, Tarn the Uncaring He's kind of the leader, almost seen like a god to the Locust Vile. And the Locust Vile is made up of a few individuals. It's made up of Hex Butcher, Mother Rapture, Mudgear, Amino Fetus, and Sick Bird. And as these guys are standing off, something is going on with the Hellions. Because they have an undying urge to attack. They want to get in this fight. They're ready to do whatever it takes. Not sure what's going on. Ever since their resurrection, something has been a little bit off. Something has been a little bit different about all of them. And they haven't been able to pinpoint it. But nobody has time to think because we see everybody charge in. We see Wild Child. We see Nanny. We see Orphan Maker. They all go in to make their attacks. And they are attacking with a ferocity that they usually don't fight with. They are ready to rip these guys to freaking pieces. And as they literally just beat the crap out of Amino Fetus, this is where we see a glowing light show up. Now in the beginning of this issue, we were introduced to Arako. Sitting around the Arako ring, we are seeing all the members of their council. One of them being Storm. And what we're seeing more than anything is Tarn the Uncaring wanting to wage war on all of Krakoa. Saying that they are thieves, saying that they are nothing but parasites that they need to be wiped out. Now of course Storm opposes this and the rest of the council does. And so for the time being, he lays low. He plans and he waits. He waits for his opportunity to be able to infiltrate somehow. And that comes in the form of Sinister. Using a blade fish to cut through space and time, we see a portal open up. And out of this portal, we see the one and only Torn the Uncaring. And we see Wild Child, we see Nanny, ready to get into this fight, ready to take him on. Going in, charging him, we see Tarn the Uncaring throw them aside like they are freaking sacks of potatoes. And we see Tarn use his powers, using his powers and lifting Wild Child to the sky. He realizes that there is something off about them, and that something off is the genes. His genetic DNA had been altered. Sinister had altered them, splicing them with genes from Arako, splicing them with the genes that they had stolen from Ameth. But we see Tarn the Uncaring use his abilities and he is able to take it back, somehow taking away his drive, taking away his anger, taking away this animosity, he goes running away like a little scared puppy. And with Tarn now having the upper hand, everybody they don't really know what to do right now. Sinister, of course, being his regular cowardly self, 
Torn goes up to him and lets him know that he sees the hidden inside of him. He knows what he is trying to hide from everybody. And so he's going to let everybody know exactly what he has been hiding. And he shows the Hellions everything. Everything that he has been up to. Everything that he has been hiding behind closed doors. Everything that he has been trying to keep a secret. And of course, after hearing, after seeing all of this... The Hellions, they're ready to take off the real Sinister's head. They're ready to just deal him in. But as things start to get sideways, as Sinister starts to worry a little bit, he hits the switch. In hitting the switch, we see a crap ton of clones come piling out. And all of them, they start immediately jumping on Tarn the Uncaring. And we see Tarn the Uncaring doing his best to try to battle off all of these clone sinisters. Telling the Locust File to make murder, they let loose. They start decapitating, they start impaling, they are just wreaking havoc on all of them. But this is where our real sinister takes the opportunity to make his escape. Making his escape, the clone scarred sinister, he catches on to this. And seeing him run away, he goes to try to get him, tries to stop him from leaving. The clone sinister chasing him down, asking where does he think he is going? And he says one word. That word is Chimera. And just like that, the clone sinister, the scarred sinister, he says, okay, I'm in. And they both go running through the portal. But before the real sinister gets all the way through, the Hellions yell, asking what he is doing, asking why they are being left here. And he lets them know that he is going through a no gate key solely to his DNA. And it's linked to a location they'll have to keep secret. Saying that they are going to return, saying that they will come back and they will do anything they can to help. That they just need to keep them busy for a little while. Because Tarn is going to need something to play with. And with that he walks through the portal. And all of the Hellions are left there to meet their demise. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. You know personally I have really 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 been loving the Hellions line. It has been a lot of fun. But now we're getting a little understanding of why... Everybody's been a little little bit different, a little bit on edge ever since they've been resurrected. Because Sinister more or less has been running experiments on them to see how this gene splicing will actually go. Now Tarn the Uncaring, we could really say that he doesn't care too much about this situation. He's using this as an opportunity to get into Krakoa some way, somehow. Well, yes, he was definitely robbed and some, they, you know, Sinister stole from him. At the end of the day, this is more or less seeming like an excuse for him to be able to infiltrate some aspect of Krakoa and be able to try to take them down from the inside since the Arako Council will not allow him to wage war with them. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you have not yet, do me a favor, hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you don't miss any of the awesome content we have coming out. And until the next breakdown.